when you just mention the name Blade, that's like, okay, things are a little bit real. Treat this with the utmost respect it deserves. Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare screw up your boy. And I don't care about that last reflection. You know what that is. Don't you dare screw up your boy. Because <laughs> I told you, bro, Blade is no joke. This is the most hardest hitting comic book movie character was what Snap did with, 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 with Blade. The greatest and the best intro to any comic book movie is Blade. This was the first truly amazing, serious, dark Marvel movie. It was this one. Forget about it. It wasn't freaking X-Men. It wasn't Iron Man. Do your Googles. It was back in the late 90s. It was your boy, um, Blade. Shout out to your boy, Steven Norrington as well, bro. So, when they announced Blade for Marvel, I was like, are these guys really going to do an R.S. Blade? Because, you see, you have to, have to understand, this is Twilight. This is the real OG, real vampire. Because if you're dealing with vampires, that's a lot of blood. And, bl and Blade is extremely violent. Blade is an NC-17. Blade Angels are an r 15 No. Well, I think this was a 15 Really? Blade should really be NC-17, but fine. Minimum, it's an R-rated film. Because for me, when I just look at how Marvel operates and what they're doing, Blade doesn't fit into the, into the MCU. He is too... Dark, too violent, too hardcore, too serious, too grounded a character. Because when you just look at what Blade is, you're like, no, no. When you, individual, when you just say Blade, when you just mention the name Blade, that's like, okay, things are a little bit real. Okay, this ain't making, this is not bomb-ass crap Chris Hemsworth thought. This ain't the useless Doctor Strange with whatever he's called. This is the real, doesn't get any realer than Blade, bro. Doesn't get any realer than Blade. So when I'm hearing that the director, what's it called, Mowgli's past or whatever, he's left the uh, director's channel. So they're looking for a new director and apparently there have been issues with the film. It's supposed to be filming next month. I, I need confirmation here. Because I need to know. Is this R-rated? And I want to address the people who say, no, but... Oh, because Ari is just that it's a better story. It's all about the story. You see, then you just don't understand how art works. When you're trying to do a piece of art, there are certain things that have to be there. You can have the best story in the world. You, you, you can only explain a piece of art through a particular type of violence. You just have to. So when you're looking at Blade, he's he's a he haunts vampires. <laughs> He hunts vampires, and vampires are extremely violent creatures that deal in blood. It is this. He's a freaking vampire hunter. You can't. It can't not be R-rated. You can drink the best story in the world and the most amazing story. For it to really work, a dude that is hunting vampires, it has to be violent. It's got to be extremely violent. It has to be, because whatever these clowns do in MCU, it's not. Good. It's not touching Blade One. Nothing, nothing is touching Blade One. Blade Two, eh? less than Blade Trinity, the better. Nothing is touching Blade One. Like this is a classic. This is a, a, a classic film. So, and bro, Snipes should still play. But if people miss a trick, bro, have you? Because I follow Michael Jai White on Instagram. He's still in good shape. <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to use Snipes, Michael Jai White is actually a pretty decent actor and a phenomenal martial artist. Absolutely, he's a phenomenal martial artist and he's a pretty good, good actor. Go watch Black Dynamite, see his film. So, because you see, yeah, you have to, and I think that's what guys are saying, man. Man, for everything, Blade is very, Blade should be treated with the utmost um, importance for Marvel. Blade is very important to Marvel, you know, because this is what really kickstarted Marvel. And for me, Ma Blade doesn't get enough credit. Because I think everyone looks at, oh no, was that X-Men film? No. Blade was, Blade was that movie. Now, I can go into a little bit of this as to why it wasn't given enough praise as it should. Praise talks. But everyone in the know knows that, bro, like, if you look at all the Marvel films, take all the Marvel films, 
Blade is top three. Now, you can decide whether it's one, two, or three. If you take all the Marvel films, so all the MCU films, Blade 1, the first Blade film, is top three. Now, you decide whether it's one, two, or three. But it is minimum top three. Because you're looking at Blade, you're looking at Avengers, and you're looking at one of those Captain America films. You're looking at one of those Captain America films. So, oh, like, even just speaking... And he, and he, no. Because you have to throw in Black Panther there as well. I mean, gems are just... Film quality. If you think not just film quality, you're looking at Blade, you're looking at Black Panther, and you're looking at Winter Soldier. You're probably looking at, in terms of just the, um, a film, not just a comic book movie, a film, you're looking at Black Panther, Blade, Winter Soldier, Soldier. You know, like maybe First Avenger is my favorite, but that's just me being biased. Taking my, my bias aside, I can't put First Avenger top three, but that is my favorite, one of my favorite comic book films. So, but if we're just speaking objectively, it's Blade, Black Panther, Winter Soldier. Those are the three. I mean, it gonna... And some may say, like, if if you were to push me, it's it's for me if you were to push me, it's between Blade and Winter Soldier. I'll probably say Blade. I must say Blade, yo. So all I'm saying is, bro, Kevin Feige treats this with the utmost respect it deserves.